Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 129. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Tricks 120 to 132. Hey, in this video, we're going to see how to of, um, exceed the seven nested if limit in versions of Excel before 2007. Now, there's a there's a couple ways we can do this. Um, if you click, we have a ta we have a situation here. We have days, and we have a table set up, and um, we want to select a percentage, uh, a discount, right? So notice there's more than seven levels here. Now this is set up so you could do a VLOOKUP, but um, sometimes you cannot uh, use VLOOKUP, and you need to do more than seven Fs. And here's how you do it. Let's click in this cell right here and hit F2. The trick is this right here, the ampersand. You can join, um, there's seven ifs in the first one here, and then I ampersand and just added on my extra if. And uh, I actually saw this in a help menu I, um, in a much earlier version of Excel. The only problem is once you use the ampersand, it converts, uh, it, it turns everything to text. So one trick is to uh, put a parentheses around all of your if, including your ampersand. And you can strim, string as many of these ampersands as you want together, and then add zero. Adding zero or multiplying by one converts it back to a number. So ampersand is one trick, escape. And then here's a, a fellow YouTuber uh, pointed this one out. Instead of using the ampersand, you can um, put your seven ifs. And in the very last argument here, value if false, you have it refer up to an extra cell. And let's go look up here. If we hit F2 here, oh, there's the remaining ifs. So you can use the ampersand or this method when you uh, refer to an extra cell. Um, if you had a spreadsheet where you couldn't have an extra cell, you'd probably want to do this one. If you had no problem with extra cells, then you could do that one. Um, in this case, of course, if it's set up with mutually exclusive categories, and the, as we talked about in this video, every, all the categories are appropriate, then, of course, the VLOOKUP would be much easier. You could also do a Boolean right there, which we're not going to talk about in this video. What I want to do now is go over to Excel 2007 and show you how we can exceed uh, the seven, seven nested, nested ifs. Now, if you uh, downloaded this and you want to try this, it will not work when you have the extension .xls. So you need to save as and change it to .xlsm or .xlsx. Now I'm going to Alt-Tab and go over to some workbook. By the way, that's the message you get in uh, 2003 if you try to do more than, uh, oh no, this is the message you get in Excel 2007. I tried to do 64 levels and I tried 65 levels and that's the message I got. You get a similar message in 2003 if you exceed 7. Now here it is, we want to take a look. If I can scoot this down here. And so here, um, there's all the ifs strung together, and it's just not a problem. You can have up to 64. I think this is about 10. Now let's look at one uh, that has 64. I'm going to click in this cell right here. And notice this is gigantic. I just made this up the same if 64 times in a row. I'm going to control home to jump to the beginning of the form, because what I did is I put a space at the beginning so it wouldn't register. Once I go like that and hit Enter, Sure enough, I can put it into edit mode, and there's 64s. It's for real. I, I read a post once uh, from someone at the Mr. Excel discussion board that says, why in the world would you ever do 64 ifs? If you don't have mutually exclusive categories and you can't set it up for a VLOOKUP, uh, and you have more than seven, uh, then this is a great new feature in 2007. All right, that's how to exceed seven ifs in uh, the nested ifs in 2003 and 2007. All right, see you next trick.